Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Alright boys, let's jump straight into this. Uh, so one problem that I've run into was the Void Ore Miner Tier 5. I had to shut it down. And the reason why I had to shut it down, it was because it was sapping all of the power. Uh, I was not expecting the tier 5 void or miner with full speed and accuracy upgrades to be draining this much power. It actually takes more power out of the system than uh, our mechanism fusion reactor can provide, which it's doing a pretty healthy 200k a tick. Uh, that is 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 pretty cool like it was more than what we needed at the time but our singular void or miner is a power hog so now that we did a little bit of space exploration uh, I'm going to build the nuclear craft fusion reactor and I'm gonna set it right here where I had the outline and everything and both of the liquefied uh, fuel cells fuel sources we can pipe them into the machine plus I have a really great idea for cooling with uh, compact helium uh, gathering machines. Let me see, what were they called again? Helium. Helium collectors, yeah. So I'm going to make three of these compact helium collectors that are going to feed into a super cooler. And then that super cooler is going to go into two active coolers. And that is more than enough cooling that we need for the uh, nuclear, nuclear craft fusion reactor. So let's jump straight into it. I'm going to re be replacing some of these blocks. As you can see, the, uh, the extreme reactor is empty. And I'm going to leave it empty for a little bit because the power isn't really required at, the, at this moment. And I have an overabundance of cyanide now. Like, I, I don't know. I can't craft plutonium that quickly. So let me see. Okay, yes, I'm wearing my hazmat suit so I can't get poisoned. Let's see, are you out of fuel as well? Okay, the fission reactor is also out of fuel. Let's see how much plutonium. Wow. All of this plutonium. And I'm pretty sure it says it's got power, but not enough to, to work. So let's see, I'm wearing my suit. Let's make some more mox fuel. I make them one stack at a time, mox. We'll grab some mox nuclear fuel. We'll make it with plutonium and... Uh, uranium ingots and we'll make one stack one stack of 64 okay and I'll put you back one stack is more than enough and we'll let you run with one stack of fuel oh, let me see that one mox since one went into the machine I can put you in there there you go running at negative one heat per tick so that's never going to melt down I don't have to worry about it creating a healthy 21.5 thousand RF a tick. This thing goes on for a good while and then it automatically turns into the depleted MOX fuel. So now that this guy has power, he can make more, uh, more plutonium out of the depleted MOX nuclear fuel. Uh, this, this, the great thing about this thing is that uh, the, the amount of plutonium you need to make plutonium and then turn plutonium into uh, mox fuel and then using the mox fuel to get plutonium back is exponentially bigger. Like look at how much tiny plutonium we have just from running that one stack. And uh, okay, I can't triple click. There we go, triple click did work. Look at, let's see, plutonium. We're, oh wow, we are already at 7,681 tiny piles of plutonium, which I'm not even sure if I'm going to need this much, but occasionally I'll throw in a stack of mox fuel and then uh, I'll use plutonium to make a stack of mox fuel and then uh, I'll, I'll batch craft a whole bunch of plutonium all in one go. Let's see, what, what are we at on plutonium as well? Okay, so yeah, I've been using plutonium, but I haven't been creating plutonium because uh, of the empowered diamantine. Uh, I want to get that set up on the space station and have it automated. And then I'll turn in all of those plutonium into a ridiculous amount of plutonium. Uh, but yeah, let's jump straight into this. I'll leave this reactor empty. 
Okay, so first thing we need is going to be the fusion reactor itself, which is this fancy thing, the fusion core, which we needed to build the mechanism machine. Let's see, do we have what we need? We need the middle three items. So two chemical reactors. Okay, we need the middle two of that one as well, which is a machine chassis. Let's make three. And then a chemical reactor, another chemical reactor. And I made three, so there we go, fusion core, perfect. Star in a box. Let's grab our pick with the silk touch. That way if I break something, I can just put it right back. Stone, let's get rid of the center block. And if I land, it'll go faster. Boom, boom, boom. Sweet, and now let's place this big bad boy down. You're gonna be difficult for me. Let's give you a little bit more room then. Here we go, now you should have room, there, boom. Neat, okay, so let's see. We need the fusion, not the electromagnets, the connectors. So I was, I, I made this design thinking I was gonna go three, three wide, three, six, we need 12 of them. So let's see, fusion connectors, we need 12. We'll make those. Oh, they went fast, that's good. And then let's see, lastly, lastly we need fusion electromagnets. So, hmm, let's see, one, two, three, four rows. Oh wait, fusion electro, no, let, let me check one thing. I would like to do the transparent ones, which the transparent ones just require glass on fusion. So yeah, I can make a whole bunch of fusion ones. Fusion. So let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four rows. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do. Let's do a good hundred to start off with. One hundred. And I'll let this go. Oh, okay, we're missing lead item casings. So let's go do that real quick. Uh, it is an IC2, because we need the IC2 machine to make it. Uh, we need lead plates. Lead plates in the metal former with the little hammer. Oh, and it's got 16 upgrades in it. I don't need to even need to worry about tick accelerating it, because I left the overclockers in this unit. Cool, so we can put these up. And now let's see, can we make a hundred? One hundred. Ah, sixteen more. Lead. And let's get you going. Runs a lot a little bit out of power at the very end, but that's good enough to make two stacks. Cool. So fusion. Third try is a charm. And now let's make those. And while that's making, let's go to new mechanism. And it's nighttime. So let's switch you and you out. And then you and the sword. Let's move the sword out of the way. Cool, sleeping bag. And... Man, I don't know what I did but uh, I somehow have this feather fall, slow fall buff that happens when I fall down too fast. And I have no idea what I did to get that buff. It's kind of annoying because uh, the angel ring keeps me from having any damage. And the slow fall when I'm in space it ends up making me float off into the distance, which I have to turn on my angel ring or else I float away in space. So let's see, let's put one, two, and three. One, two, and three. 
one, two, and three. One, two, and the final one, three. Cool. So we'll just knock out these blocks one at a time. Let's see, Fusion, you're up to 33 already. So let's get rid of the inner row, because the inner row I know I want it to be the, uh, the solid blocks. Because I, I played around with it, with designs and stuff, and uh, if the entire unit is transparent, it ends up looking really wonky. There and there. Here, this row. There, there, there. Let's go. And I'm not worried about building this thing too quick because I, they're still crafting. Like when we checked, a 33 of the 100 that I ordered were made. Let's see, put you here, and then keep filling you in. Let's go. There, 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 and there. All right, six more, and it is still running on making more. Oh, one away from making the center ring. Let's see, do you have the one more in there? Cool. All right, that's the center ring. And then the rest we're going to make out of uh, transparent blocks. Let me see. Hmm, vein mine. Oh yeah, that's good. That way we can make, we can start working the transparent ones along the edge right there. Cool, so while this is doing another 100, or how many are being made? All right. It says two minutes, but sometimes this clock just stuck, just gets stuck, and I don't know why it takes longer. So it's making another 60. So that means the inner ring was 40. Uh, that we're probably going to need more. So let's set another, let's say, 40 to go. So we need copper and we need lead. A whole bunch of lead. Lead and copper. And let's look at active fluid. We're also going to build two of these active fluid coolers. Okay, we don't have that. So we need even more basic plating, which the basic plating I think is all going towards the electromagnetic magnets right now. There we go. So let's see. Basic plating. So we need, let's do 10. We got a prosperity shard because all my tools have prosperous on them. So there we go. And then let's see active cooler. The active fluid cooler. We need two cauldrons made out of iron. One and two. And then active fluid cooler. One and two. So two active fluid coolers. That's all we need. I also want to make the helium. 
All right, so let's check this out. Helium collectors need zirconium and basic plating and depleted thorium blocks. Oh no, thorium, 230. Smelting, decay hastener. Uranium, 238 in a decay hastener. Uranium-238 comes from the isotope separator. Okay. So we need a decay hastener, for sure. So let's build the decay hastener. Ooh, okay. We need four advanced plating and we need a copper solenoid. Let's do... Two. Copper solenoids and VADS casing. Advanced plating, we need four. No crafting CPUs are available. Oop, right when I clicked it. Advanced. Four. Cool. Decay. Hastener. needs to make the ferro boron that's the problem tough uh, tough alloys wow did we really run out of tough alloys all of the mob farm has been smelting down all of the let's see if we can speed that up a little bit let's see the mechanism floor oh, on this this is pretty cool i don't know if uh anyone would really care since i'm running the uh wither Wither skeletons right now for wither skulls because I need nether stars. Uh, I I got the the wither skeleton trophy, so I flipped over a mechanical user with the wither skeleton trophy. I set the mechanical user to entity. Right click, random slot. It doesn't matter because it just needs to right click. And occasionally, when you right click the wither skeleton trophy, it drops you wither skeleton skulls. I don't know, it's a little handy thing. I put a range collector next to it so it doesn't just get deleted. The range collector picks up. It's right-clicked it three times now. It's kind of like extra. It kind of looks like a trophy stand to me. So uh, I wanted the extra wither skulls because that's the only reason why I'm uh, mob duplicating the uh, the withers, wither skeletons right now is for their skulls. Let's see, do we have any tough allies? Bummer, we don't have any tough alloy in here right now. Hoping we could dun dump it into the uh, into the ender chest to get some more going. All right, so let's go back to IC2, just in case we need something from here. The processes, yeah, it's using the uh, the alloy furnace to make tough alloy right now, so that I can make the advanced plating. How about the other processor? The other processor is... They're both working on advanced plating right now. That is a bummer. So let's go back to new mechanism and let's work there a little bit. Because I already have an idea of where I want my some of my things to, to go. I know I want a power cell here, so I'm going to put... The fluid coolers here. One active fluid cooler is going to go here, and the other one is going to go there. And then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power cells. So let's see power cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight of those, we need eight of these. What are you missing? Redstone, really? For realsies? Wow. Redstone. Oh wow, okay. Let's make 2,000 of you. No crafting CPUs are, are available. That is not the, the, uh, the handbrake I was waiting for in my stream today was that I needed to craft a lot of things at the same time. It's the downside of making two 64k processors. I can do big things, but still you're limited by how many processors, and I only have two. So let's check and see what 
they're at. Uh, tough alloys is the bottleneck. Wait, tough alloy? Yeah, so let's give it a little bit of a boost. We'll go down to the basement where our uh, our trusty friend Mother Clucka is holding it down. I made a little pit for dragon eggs. Uh, and let's tick accelerate our uh, alloy furnace. Give it a little boost because he is trucking along. Yeah, that should do it. Can it get pulled in through the item duct fast enough? That's the problem now, huh? Let's see, I think I have some speed upgrades. Speed, yeah, extract speed. And then, man, I can't reach it. I need to put myself a little hole. And let's go, extract speed, boom. How are you now? There we go. Pro Minecraft quality content, sitting in a hole with a chicken running around, tick accelerating a unit from underneath. <laughs> All right, how are you doing now? And there. And we needed redstone. Redstone, where are you? Give me eight. 2000. Let's do that. And it goes over here. This is all so sloppy because I'm trying to learn how AE2 works, which I have it a lot more organized on the space station and it's going to be a lot prettier over there. This bad boy is doing its thing. Let's tick accelerate you over here. Hopefully that's not too much. Oh, again, it, the problem is the uh, the speed upgrades, it needing to get fed into the system fast enough. All right, so we should have, yeah, we've got enough now. We need eight. And I accidentally clicked once too many times. <laughs> Power cell. Let's make you eight. Oh, I made nine. Well, yeah. We'll put one on top of the unit to feed it the heat required to turn it on. All right, and now we are making more fusion, right? Fusion cells? 60? Man, let's do another 40. Cool, let's, let's work, let you work, and then we need glass. And then, nice, there we go. 61, transparent fusion. Okay, let's go back to new mechanism. Man, these days, these Minecraft days are fast. Okay. And let's put these around, like so. As soon as I come back from the lag spike. Here, here, here. We got an Enderman that is keeping us company. Okay. Like that. And then wrap it around like this. Awesome. Let's vein mine this. Because it's stone and everything else that's not attached, we don't have to worry about. Let's do it like this. All right. And let's see, what are we at now for fusion? Is it? Stored crafting plates. You haven't made a single one yet? Scheduled, okay, there we go. Making the plates. Come on, angel ring. There we go. 
So that's where you're at right now. You're just spitting out plates like crazy. It's so, so cool to watch these machines work, though. I really do. I, I'm not too crazy about speedrunning the game. I tend to do a lot of lollygagging and looking at machines working, and I know that's probably terrible for streaming, but... I love watching these machines work. And it's really driving me crazy. Sometimes when I turn my mod pack off, like computer off, and then turn it back on, all of my immersive engineering wire just vanishes. And then on top of it, I make new wire and I can't just re-click it. I have to break the connectors and put the connectors back because I think it still thinks the wire is still attached. Ugh, so frustrating. Let's see, I did this corner right, right? Yeah. When I flew over, it looked weird. All right, let's see where the bottleneck is on the fusion. It is making Ferroboron again, so let's give it a boost. Go down to the basement. We can sit in our little hole and boost the machine again. Man, I should really add some like carnival music to this. Da, 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 la, la, la. <laughs> or how does how does the one go? When uh when people are moving super fast and super dorky. <laughs> All right, you made me 39. Did I accidentally pull one? Probably. That's probably why I had 61 earlier. Glass. 39 does not feel like it's going to be enough. So let's make some more. If I can spell it right. Fusion. Electromagnets. Let's do a good hundred. So we, oh no, we're gonna run out of lithium. And lead, no, lithium I just need to turn it into, so. More lead, more copper, and we can bring some lithium with us. I see two. Lead. Uh, oh yeah, I'm out of plates now, bummer. Make a hundred of you, how about copper? Oh no, we're really? 100 copper. And then let's go up to the mechanism floor where we are or tripling, which soon will be quadrupling. Hey, that that dude, Coot. Thanks for uh, joining the chat. How are you today? I'm doing great. Let's see, I need lithium. Yes, ooh, that is not looking good. And let's get this guy going. Speed racer. I really hope this isn't... This is super quiet for me. I hope it isn't really, really loud on stream or in the recording. Cool, so that'll make the lithium that we need. Uh, and then I believe that the lead plates should be done now. Yeah. Lead plates. Make some lead plates. Oops, got a little antsy there. And we need copper. Copper plates are on their way. No crafting job, so where are my plates? Let's see. Get some of these going. Fusion. We are missing, yeah, the copper plates. Available and missing. Wow, that's some luck right there. We have 200, we need 400. Uh, graphite blocks, we can make those. Two 
to craft. Tough alloy. Graphite blocks, I could have sworn that I have those set to, uh... What's it called? To crafting. Uh, pattern. So we need copper. Cool, grab a stack of that. Let's see, we're working on lead plates and then we need the lithium. Is it done? Okay, the lithium is done, so we're out of lithium. So I'm gonna have to set up the void ore miner. Or not the void ore miner, I'm gonna have to set up the digital miner somewhere to get more lithium. So if we don't have enough fusion cells, we're not gonna be able to put this guy together, but I'll put everything else together. So let's do 40. Okay. And then let's teleport over there to new mechanism. And there goes that feather fall again, driving me crazy. Get rid of the stone. Transparent. One more, one more. There we go. We need you up one more. Whoa. See, that's why I don't speed run the game, because I make mistakes. <laughs> you here. It's, it, it's probably going to be really hard for me to see where my mistakes are when I'm using transparent blocks. Woo. We might not have enough. So let's see. Fusion. What are we running out right now? Making plates, yeah, we need to make lead plates, tin plates, and bronze plates, which I only have one machine making plates right now. Uh, the ferroboron again, basic plating. Okay, so let's let that do its thing, and then I'll go downstairs and work on the piping that I want to use. So I cut this out here. This is where I'm going to do this. I need a power cell there, and then I'm going to put you in here and set you to output, and then two active fuel, active fluid coolers. I built and I was playing around over here with liquid helium. I needed a super, super cooler, which I already made. The super cooler needs power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the super cooler, attach it right here to the power cell so it gets power. And then I'm going to do, I need that one open, that one open. I'm going to grab two fluid conduits, ender fluid conduits. That will feed both of these units. One is going to be set to insert, always active. This one will be extract, always active. Same thing on this side, because it's going to be feeding both of them. Insert, always active. And extract, always active. And then what I want to do is I want to put one, two, three of the compact helium machines which I need to, I have two of the small helium collectors, which I need to turn those into the larger ones. Sorting facility. And let's make some patterns because these guys are going to be a pain in the butt. Helium. So we need the compact helium collector, definitely. We need a pattern for that. We need bronze ingots, which we can make. We need helium collectors. 
we'll need that. And then we need zirconium ingots. And we need basic plating. Basic plating is already made. We already have a pattern, I mean, for that one. So zirconium. Do I have any zirconium? What's that? Circaloy. Zirconium comes from zirconium dust. Zirconium dust comes from the rock crusher. Okay. Zirconium. Do I really not have any zirconium in my system? Craftable. Stored. Craftable. Okay. Zirconium. We have zirconium dust from using diorite in the rock crusher. So let's grab some diorite. And let's go down to the basement and do this manually real quick. So we need to smelt the zirconium. And we need the rock crusher, which should be over here. All right, rock crusher. We'll get you going over here. Okay, it's going to feed directly into the system, so I don't need to worry. If I manually put things in, it'll go into the system. Nice. All right, so let's go back up to sorting facility. And we need depleted thorium blocks. So we have, yeah, helium, helium. We need depleted thorium blocks we need a uh, we need to do a dang what's that decay generator thorium block no that won't help thorium thorium induction that might be a better route Thorium makes thorium blocks, and then decay generator can get rid of them. So let's make a decay generator instead of a hastener. Oh, that, wow, is it really this? That is super cheap. Decay generator. And I'm pretty sure you need to be produces power from the heat generated by the decay of adjacent thorium and uranium blacks. Yeah. Thorium. We do have thorium 332 thorium ingots. We have 35 thorium blocks. This thing sounds like we don't need power because it generates power, but let's check. Decay hastener. Let me just stick you right here. You need power. Decay generator. Why is it? <laughs> Did I just make a block that is completely useless? I can't right click it. Does... Mm hmm. Okay. So I have to. So did I just do this by accident? It looks like it's getting power. I wonder if you can just, dude, this better not be radioactive or explode on me. If this, if this explodes, I'm going to be really sad. But let me see if I can tick accelerate it. I hope, I wonder if the power needs to go somewhere. Depleted! <laughs> and I did this completely by accident. Depleted thorium block. There we go. This guy depleted real quick. Depleted, depleted. Cool. You're still good. I wonder if it only does two of the sides or if it does all of the sides. Yeah, this one's depleted. No, that one's still the same color. Whoa, block of lead. 
that's not what I wanted. Thorium. See, it's off color. Thorium, thorium. Now I'm messing around with something. I have no idea what it is. This one is off colored, though. Thorium block. Depleted thorium block. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let this do its thing real quick. Uh, and then. So we have three depleted thorium blocks. Helium. And let's go back upstairs real quick so we can look at the patterns. I want to do... So I can't make a pattern for depleted thorium blocks. So let's do helium. And I haven't put the patterns in. The interface. There and there. Helium. Compact helium. Let's do, we only need three. Let's see what we need. We need 24 depleted thorium blocks. We need more lead. So the thorium blocks are what's sitting in our way right now. Which way? I have them. We just have to, we have to babysit it, unfortunately. And we need more lead. Let's see. Fusion, it made 29 more, which we're out of uh, lithium now, I think. We have 186 lithium. So let's do some more fusion. Oh, it's still making them. Still making 10. Okay. And then, hmm. Because I really wanted to make this decay hastener, because it's a quest. And then we could th stick the uh, uranium in there, make it that way as well. Uh, let's go to. Grab the lead. Hopefully we have some. No, we don't. We need another hundred. Let's see. Are you running on both? Perfect. Crafting a hundred. I'll let that run. We'll go back to the basement. See how are you doing? Are all of these thorium, thorium, depleted thorium, thorium? Let's make a decay hastener because that's originally what I wanted to make. Decay hastener. We need a machine chassis. We're out of everything now because everything is being put into this machine now. All right, Decay Hastener, Machine Chassis. We need more Tough Alloy. So let's make a hundred of that. You still Tick Accelerated? Yeah. We get rid of this one and then Tick Accelerate you as well. We can see whichever one finishes. Thorium, Thorium, Thorium. I'm wasting so much power on this as well. There we go. We need a machine chassis. We need four more advanced plating. Decay hastener. Extreme radiation. And I'm going to put you down real quick right here so that you have power and then we need uranium two thirty eight put you in here and then tick accelerate you 
to make thorium-230. And then we can That's 232. We can do this. We can get 7. We got 10. Or we got 11 depleted thorium. Okay, let's see. Do we have any more over here ready? We got another lead. I wonder if that's 2 on that side with lead. Thorium, thorium. This is not the way you're supposed to do it, I'm pretty sure. And then let's see, isotope, uranium. In the isotope separator, we do you as well. And then let's see, how are we now on helium? Helium collector, compact helium, we need three. So we're still missing the depleted and we need the lead item casings. So let's see, lead, and mechanism, no, we need IC2, and metal former, and let's go back down to the basement. Thorium, 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 thorium. This one's empty. Let's go to isotope separator. Oh, it fed it all into the machine. Uranium. And 238. And then let's drop you in here. And Drop you in here. And grab these. Put you in. And now I need three. Missing five depleted thorium blocks. Okay. Let's see if we can babysit this and make this go a little faster. Uranium. 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 And... These guys. Put you in there. Helium, compact, three, there we go. So it's a whole lot of itty bitty crafting in between that drives me crazy. So it needs to make lead, it needs to make, make basic. That is now running. Let's go back to new mechanism. And let's see, we had fusion. And let's put down the power cells while we're at it. So we got one on the bottom that's touching the bottom too. Then we need one up here that's touching these. We need to set you to output. We need to put one card in you. Then we need one over here. Under. We'll set you to output and we'll give you a card as well. And then we need to put one here, set you to output, and give you a card. 
and then put one here. No, wait, that's under. Put one here and put one. I'm going to wait for that one. Get rid of you. Set you to out. Give you a card. And let's grab the fusion that we've made, 40. We need glass. All right, where did I stop? I stopped right here, I think. Okay. Need you to run down here. I need you to run up here. I need you to wrap around once and come this way. This is now connected. We're not going to have enough, so it's not going to be, we're not going to be able to put it up today, unfortunately. And we can put this power cell right here. And set you out, out, and put you, give you a card. We can put the one here, out, and a card. Put one here. Out and a card. Cool. That's all of the power cells that we need to power the ring that goes around it. Let's see, I need to get there and there for the pipes. Let's go downstairs into the basement of this of new mechanism real quick. Let's see, how are you on the helium collectors? Yay, compact helium collectors. I needed three of them. Oh, and I should have put those two helium collectors in there. I would have saved us a little bit, but not too much. They weren't that expensive. Compact helium collectors. I'm going to put you here because it touches, so it immediately starts working. Yep, it's filling it. And then I'll put one here and one here, and all three of those touch the supercooler. All three of them are feeding the supercooler. They're making helium, and then the supercooler turns the helium into liquid helium, and then the pipes go into the two active fluid coolers and fill the active flu fluid coolers with liquid helium. See, this one has a little bit of liquid helium in it. Before I forget, the uh, nuclear craft machine needs speed upgrades. Let's see, the nuclear craft speed upgrade, yeah, we need, okay, we need weighted pressure plates. Let's do a good 10. I want this to be fast. And 10, cool. And let's see, energy, just in case, I'll do 10 of the energy upgrades as well, because that'll just help the system and not clog up. Because you can only put in energy upgrades for the amount of speed upgrades that you put in. So if I put in 10 speed upgrades, I can put up to 10 energy upgrades. But if I if I only do four, then I can't do 10 energy because it only matches how many speed upgrades you put in at the same time. Let's see, do we have enough for 10? Perfect. So these energy and speed upgrades, I'm going to put into the super cooler. Super cooler gets the energy and speed. Boom, look at that. Now it's pumping out helium, liquid helium, I mean. So now it's getting three compact helium collectors are going in, that's enough to feed it. And then, uh, yeah, see liquid helium 150, liquid helium 400 out of 400, that one's full. And 400 out of 400, that one's full. 
Now this one is going to fill up its internal buffer here. It's already at 350, 375, 400, and that'll back up because uh, the math that I did on this, it, uh, it looks like it's going slow, but it's feeding everything fast enough, and this will fill up, and then the backlog won't be an issue anymore. So that's cooling for the reactor, and it's actually kind of neat and compact. I like that. I'm glad that it didn't make a r ridiculous amount of cabling for it. The dynamic tanks, hmm, let's see, should I use ender cables or should I use mechanism cables? Let's go, what are they, pressurized fluid, pressurized, no, that's gas, mechanical, yeah, pump rate, 19, is that enough? Or should I just go with Ender IO because I've been doing that lately? Ender fluid. So I definitely need, okay, there's the bottom part of the machine. One U, and then there and there, and then one U, there and there. And can I access the GUI of the system? Perfect. So prevent item, prevent input overflow will keep it from filling both tanks up with one of the, the first fluid that I plug it in with. It'll just plug in one. Void leftover, void output overflow. So yeah, we're going to have an output of uh, helium, but not enough to be able to feed these machines. So I'm going to void the helium that the, that the unit makes, because I make more than enough helium from this now. So I'm also going to, let's see, can I reach it here? Yeah, right in one there and one there will be the neutron fluid. And this one will be the voided helium. So let's see, let's configure all of these real quick. This one will be extract, always active. This one will be extract, always active. This one will be insert, always active. And this one will be insert, always active. That will be the two fuels. So let's see. U, U. Right here and here. And one more. And then this can go straight through. All right. And then here I need to make two of the fusion or the dynamic tank. Dynamic tank. Dynamic tank, dynamic valve. There we go. Two of these, so I need two more of these. Dynamic valve, two dynamic valves. And let's see, this shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to break this. It'll go away, but then when I fill this back in, there's R, yeah. So we'll do that one first, and then I'll do this one now. Like that and go back to the fuel. Now I can plug, oh well, I'll wait. I don't want to get too anxious. I don't want to fill the unit with fuel before I can get the magnets set. There. Nope. There, yeah. Oh, I was one off. Okay, yeah, this one goes through. There we go. Now the two fuels are ready to be plugged in. I need to do two tanks. Q 
gas tank. Let's do two of these guys. One and two. And then we'll do two of these guys. Upgrade kit, just to give me some leeway. So that it doesn't fill up too fast, we'll do two of these. We'll put a tank here. And then we'll put a tank here. We'll do insert here, always active. We'll do insert here, always active. And we'll hit them with the upgrade kits to prepare for the neutron fluid and for the helium, which I need to f do a trash can for fluid. Is that a fluid one? No, it's just a regular one. Trash can fluid. Definitely need one of those. I need one more ender conduit because I need to see. I don't know which side the neutron fluid is going to export and which side the helium is going to export. So when I find out which one fills up with helium and which one fills up with neutron, the helium one is going to get the trash can. Then I'm going to plug in those machines so that the fuel can go into the machine. I'm also going to need power to come out of the unit. So let's see, I should have some cryo. Yeah, I got three more cryo of the infinite RF transfer. We'll put you down the middle just for right now. Because this unit is going to be making, I believe, 2.2 million RF a tick. We'll do that, and then I might also upgrade the induction matrix to handle the input of all of that power. So the downstairs, this is all set. This is cooling, this is helium fluid, neutron fluid outputs, and then the inputs of the two mechanism liquid. I went with liquid filled. Deutron, uh, deuterium and tritium, and let's go upstairs. It looks like the only thing that we have left, we have all of the power cells ready for it. Those are going to be feeding the power to the ring. So yeah, like the only thing that we're left off on, unfortunately, is this little corner of fusion, which I can do first thing in the next episode. Uh, let's see, what were we on fusion? Fusion. Can we do 20? Nope. Graphite blocks, lead item casings. Let's see, what am I at right now? All right. Graphite blocks, lead item casings. I ran out of time for today. Uh, I will get those fusings ready and then start the next episode with firing up the the nuclear uh, fusion reactor, the nuclear craft fusion reactor. And uh, by everything that I've calculated, the cooling should be perfectly done so that's not going to melt. And the uh, fluid, that's going to be the issue. So tomorrow we'll We'll turn on the system and we'll have to babysit the two fluids, uh, the two uh, that, that mix to run the unit. Because if one of them starts to die, if the deuterium starts to die, I know I'm going to have to build more, uh, more pumps for heavy water, maybe another electrolytic separator. And then uh, if the tritium starts to die, I know I'm going to have to make more of these solar neutron activators, but that's what the entire roof is for. So I, it's unfortunate I couldn't cram all of this in one hour, but uh, thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow for when we launch this baby.